Before we start, I would like you to hit that red subscribe button so that you never miss out on any of our videos. Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to Trendy Gadget. 8. The Wii U eShop is closing soon. The Wii U eShop is closing down in March 2023, making now the best time to pick one up. The Wii U eShop is a treasure trove of online exclusives that will be lost forever when it closes its virtual doors. Many Wii U games weren't able to get physical releases or were only released physically in certain regions. And since the Wii U is a region locked, digital could be your only option. There are many great Wii U games worth buying before the eShop closes, so if if you have been considering it, make sure you get on it before it's too late. 7. The Wii U is a vital part of gaming history Flop or not, the Wii U is still a vital part of Nintendo's history. It also provided the groundwork for the Nintendo Switch. The Wii U and the Nintendo Switch do share many similarities such as their portable nature and ability to be played both handheld on the TV. The Wii U is an incredibly unique piece of hardware, and the experience of playing one cannot be replicated. So regardless of whether it sold 1 million or 1 billion units, it is still an important piece of the Nintendo puzzle. If you are an avid Nintendo fan or collector, that should be reason enough to add this unique console to your collection. 6. The Wii U is a modder's dream If you are into modding or want to learn how, the Wii U would be a great place to start. Modding the Wii U is a relatively easy process if you know what you are doing and has a much lower risk of breaking your system than other consoles. As an added bonus, since the Wii U is discontinued, there are no more warranties to void. Hacking your Wii U allows you to turn your console into a DVD player or even install emulators. If you are considering dipping your toes into the world of modding and are a fan of the GameCube, check out our guide on how to play GameCube games on your Wii U with Nintendo. Number 5. The Wii U is the best way to play Wii games. The Wii U is basically an improved Wii. Nearly all Wii games are playable on the Wii U and in HD, no less making it the best way to experience almost any Wii game you desire. Backward compatibility is something that Switch owners have never experienced. While you can play ports on the system, you have to purchase those separately. The Wii U, however, still used the same discs that the Wii did, allowing you to switch between the two systems easily and without any further cost. For the Wii U has tons of amazing exclusive titles, as well as having a huge variety of games from all your consoles available in the Wii U's expansive library. The system also had its own share of exclusive titles. That's right, not all Wii U games have been ported to the Switch. While many have made their way over to Nintendo's latest system, the Wii U library still boasts many of its own exclusive titles such as the portable space adventure and HD remakes of The Legend of Zelda, Twilight Princess, and The Legend of Zelda Wind Waker. Number 3. The Wii U is a multiplayer machine While many consider the Nintendo Switch the best multiplayer console, the Wii U gives the Switch a run for its money. Due to its incredibly unique design, the Wii U console has mastered the art of co-op. On other systems, co-op play requires sharing your screen with your friends by splitting it into sections. The Wii U, however, surpassed the need for split-screen co-op, with one player using the TV and the other using the screen on the gamepad. The Wii U allows you to play two-player games with a whole screen to yourself. Number 2. The Wii U is still pretty cheap. Video game consoles go through varying stages in life. They start out quite expensive, then as they get older and newer consoles come out, they start to drop in price. Once they're old enough, however, the prices seem to skyrocket as they become retro. The Wii U is currently sitting in a sweet spot. It is nearing the end of its life and is soon to be retro, but the prices of Wii U consoles and games are still relatively cheap. If you are a retro collector, it is the perfect time to get your hands on one of these systems before the prices rise. Number 1. The Wii U is much rarer than other consoles. The fact that the Wii U flopped so hard is a silver lining for avid collectors. Since the system sold so poorly, fewer of them are around. The Wii U sold only a fraction of the amount other Nintendo consoles have. Because of the lack of demand for Wii U's, Nintendo didn't make as many of them. There are nowhere near as many Wii U's on the market, making it far rarer than other Nintendo consoles. The prices of the Wii U are low now, but they could quickly rise in the future as it becomes a collector's item and the demand for them grows. It's never too late to get a Wii U. If you have been interested in adding a Wii U to your collection, now could be the best time to do so while the prices are still low. There were many factors that led to the Wii U failing, but many of these factors were due to marketing. 
Rather than the system itself being bad, the Wii U is a unique and important part of video game history, and there are many reasons why you should purchase one for yourself. This brings us to the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Hit like if you did, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel so that you don't miss any of our videos in the future. Also, watch the two videos that are on your screen because I'm sure you love them. With that, I'll see you in the next video.